Yeah, there's a leg. Oof. I think I set off a spring wire in there. That would. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what that's what often causes the really like extreme dismemberment, where there's just arms and legs all over the place. Now, we, before we go to the torturer chambers, there's a uh, there's actually something else. I have out of sleep darts. Nice. Actually, no, not nice. Opposite of nice. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do oh. that. I've told, I've told you. Normally I only kill people who are armed. But ooh, 150 coins for that imperial egg. <laughs> I hope it was worth it, Corvo. Yeah, I'm still kind of shocked from that. This. Uh huh. <laughs> I do go to see the, the, the torturer first, I don't remember. Yeah, I guess I do. Alright. It's pretty spooky down in his room. Check this out. I love this lighting, by the way. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that poor bastard's already dead. Yeah, okay, yeah, if he's got a meat hook through his throat, I'm pretty sure he's done. Ooh, the altar of the yeah. outsider. And now, before this starts, I'm going to use the time slow power, okay? Or, I mean, once it starts. And now, the reason I'm going to use that is to demonstrate that it doesn't work. Notice he's moving at normal speed? Yeah. He, he, because he is also touched by the outsider, some of the outsider powers don't work on him. Like, you can't, you can't touch. Like, if you go to time stop, or time slow, he, he keeps going. You can't possess him either, I believe. <laughs> oh, then I forgot my gun was empty. It was nice seeing that body go flying down the stairs from the grenade. <laughs> Over the other guy's head. No, dude, don't don't eat an apple that's been in, in the room with that guy. <laughs> Probably got razors in it or something. Oof. Oop, look at a pair of pliers. Oh god. Yeah, hor horrible, horrible things have happened in this room. I don't I don't do good with torture. Like I can handle Watching movies with murder, but not torture. Oh, here's a letter. Oh, dearie, dearie, down in the cellar, so dreary. Why don't you come out to see me? When you were here, we made them scream, didn't we? Come back to visit, and I'll give you another present, carved and shiny. You aren't much in the way of proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch you work. Come back, and I'll tell you stories, such stories. Your dear granny. Nice. Yeah. Granny Rags has a lot of friends. Well, you know, they say they say that they say that one of the most most effective things for like um you know, ma maintaining good health in old age is being remaining like socially active and connected. That's how she still still has those awesome moonwalking skills we saw previously. <laughs> Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold, the scent of his blood is still fresh in the air. My, how you changed things. You know, the Lord Regent would have fought harder to protect himself, but the truth is, he knew that he deserved to die. It must have been agony for such a tightly wound man to watch as the plague spiraled out of control. 
as people on the streets went mad and died bleeding from the eyes. Don't worry, I'm not about to tell you that he deserved sympathy. The worst part must have been, though, that it was all his fault. As you hunted down his people one by one, and finally came for him, he must have realized that all his planning was for nothing. And that must have been exquisitely terrifying. Hmm. Yeah, you're talking about him sort of seemed like, you know, coming apart mentally. And the outsider who, you know, sees all things. Now, th now that is di that dialogue is different if you if you did the non-lethal thing for the Lord Regent, and it's also different if you go to see him before you before you take him down, whether lethally or non-lethally. Right. Okay. Now here's a, an important discovery. It's a little secret. Look, there's. Some sort of, there's a blue, uh, there's some stuff over, like, inside the wall, apparently. You yank on that light, which is actually a secret switch. And you can actually, there's actually a little room in here. Ooh, cigarette case. 150 50 for that cigarette case. Well, cigarette cases can be expensive. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, there are really fancy ones, I guess. Silver. Oh. Emily, my daughter, I know that one day you'll oh. be grown up, and I wonder what you'll remember of these years. Will you recall your time as a child with fondness, or were there too many caretakers, formal dinners, and lessons about boring old history? Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope this season of rats and plague will be nothing more than a passing shadow on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisors. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. not your choice to be the daughter of an empress, but I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling the story, and only share your power with those you truly trust. Empress is... Oh, and here's a lot. Empress to Corvo. Some of this may be familiar from the intro. Corvo, I have missed you while you've been away. If I could trust anyone else with these matters, I would gladly send them so you could remain close. But there is no one else. The plague has taken so many. The spymaster was right to insist that I send you. Hey, isn't that interesting? Corvo going abroad and being out of Dunwall for a long time was the spymaster's idea. And remember, the assassination happened on the day of your return, and the letter from Dowd said that there was you weren't supposed to be there. I returned early, right? Corvo. Yeah. I, but yeah, Corvo. Yeah, didn't. Corvo. Looks like Corvo arrived a little ahead of schedule. And the uh, Lord Regent's plan to get you get you out, have you away for the assassination to take place, didn't work. All right, I said. All right. Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. When you are away, every day seems a heavy burden. Even simple tasks seem worrisome. Emily is difficult to manage. And the great troubles of the city, the conflict, and the plague all seem insurmountable. But when you are near, it is different. My heart is at peace. Mm. Um. So, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like the Empress herself had a little, uh, little hidey hole. Oh, bit of, bit of editing. <laughs> Also, from that cigarette case, apparently she was a smoker. Nice. Uh, more acceptable back then. It was acceptable in the 80s. The 1780s, yes. Yeah. Oh! 
Okay. Audio note to self, probably gonna cut that last minute or so out. <laughs> yeah, so you killed him, right? Who? The Iron Burrows. Oh yeah! I I I, dri I Nick, you saw me drive my sword th yeah, down yeah, through yeah, his yeah. collarbone so into his torso and then break his neck. No, my second question is why are we still like piecing around the castle? Oh, just stealing stuff. Right. Nick, you know, remember after I took out Lady Boyle, I had to go back and just take everything that was nailed that's down. True. That's true. And systematically execute the Jello, which had already made the sacrifice. Help. <laughs> the street city. Oh, oh. Don't mind me, ma'am. Yoink. Much left to do, but head on out. I also have, notice how he the Lord Regent apparently has like a whole stockpile of busts of his own head in here. Look at that! <laughs> the fucking ego on this guy. Maybe he remember how his presence. <laughs> the, here, the gift of my face in your home all the time. Well, remember you commented on how there seemed there'd be a lot of paintings of him all over the place? Yeah. Well, there you go. He just... He just loves to have images of himself made and just spread far and wide. Okay, and... Time to head on out. All we need to do now is return to Samuel. That thing is under our control, of course, as you if you've seen the earlier episodes. We had a bit of fun with that. Not sure you should just leave a grenade lying around like that. And yet another statue of him. <laughs> he wasted no time in that. Uh... I know! And he's not even the king, he's just the regent, supposedly. The whole, the, the whole scheme to take over the Empire was all really just so he could have, like, as many pictures of himself around as possible. He's just that vain. Well, maybe he already had them commissioned. Oh, that's true, and he's like... Well, I already spent all this money on these things. I guess I gotta kind of make myself ruler now to justify the expense. It's like uh, an emperor's new groove, where like the uh, the emperor died, and they immediately started painting over his face. I don't remember if I rewired that thing or not, but luckily I can just go. Around. Or just yank the fuel. Okay, here's where it began. Well, began, as you recall. You recall? Back to the small Oh! Too big a splash, the judges are gonna dock me points for that. <laughs> Alright. Well, another job well done, I'd say. I think so. There's Sam. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the hound pits? Yes, Sam. Nice time. Time. 
The Lord Regent has ended. All right, let's go. Dude, bit it. All right. 45 hostiles killed, one civilian, two alarms rung, 10 bodies found. Killed the Lord Regent's torturer, revealed your identity to the Lord Regent. I got all the spe I got all the hidden stuff, and I got 1,638 out of 2,175 possible coins. Nice. And I got all the bone charms, rooms, and Sokolov paintings. And now we're on our way back. 